Dear brothers and sisters, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm standing in front of our new house that we purchased uh, not too long ago next to the church. Uh, it's 1613 uh, Shepherd Street, Northwest. And uh, we are now working on uh, totally revamping the inside. We do, uh, we've totally gutted the inside. And I want to show you what we've done so far and our plans for the very near future. Come on in. This is uh, the so-called grand entrance. It's a sunroom and our plan is to lower the level of this uh, floor here in the front room to make it even with the floors inside and we're going to tear down the walls have a nice uh, um, formal entrance and with time we plan to build the mudroom in front but uh, so we're doing this to make this a usable room it's not heated but we're going to uh, uh, connect this room to the central heat and uh, come on in I'll show you the rest of the house. We'll begin at the front. Uh, as you can see, we're tearing up the floor. Um, this is the living room with the um, fireplace. This wall Will be totally will to be torn down. This wall here as well, so we could open up the space. So these two rooms will be interconnected. And we you can use this for, for gatherings, for the scouts, for our uh, Sunday schools. Um, here is the master bedroom. Uh, we're going to totally rebuild it. It, um, we plan to put uh, Murphy beds into the two bedrooms. Murphy beds, uh, for those who are not familiar with that term, are beds which are attached to the wall and uh, lowered uh, when people need to use them. Uh, the reason for the Murphy beds is uh, for, for a very practical reason, because we want to use uh, the rooms for classrooms or other gatherings when uh, uh, there are no guests or pilgrims visiting our parish. Uh, there's a ba bathroom here, which needs to be revamped. We're going to get rid of the tub and just uh, and change the location of the, of the shower so we can use the area where the tub is right now for a walk-in closet on the other side of the wall here, where we can hang up uh, uh, costumes uh, for our dance group uh, and use it for storage. And from this window in the uh, master bedroom you can see our church. Our former neighbor had to put up with cross processions here and noisy children for all these years. But uh, now we have this house and uh, we can look out and uh, with, with a warm feeling, see our own church next door and uh, as we use this uh, new space. Um, here's the second bedroom and uh, it's smaller um, but uh, again a Murphy bed will be installed here and this uh, classroom, this will be used as a classroom uh, or other, for other meetings. Uh, again there's a nice view of the altar side of the church from this window, from this room. We're trying to save some of this wood. It's nice uh, uh, 
a wood that might be able, be able to use for finishing purposes. Uh, this is uh, the kitchen area. We totally took out all of this, all the, these, these shelves and uh, um, cabinets. So we're going to make uh, new, new cabinets and install new shelves and uh, electricity on the, uh, on the, in the ceiling. Um, <coughs> the laundry room and the boiler room are next door, but it's going to be too hard to get in there. It's a small space. It will also be totally revamped. Here, if you can imagine, uh, this wall here extended all the way down to the end. There was a, a door there at the end. We tore it down because we wanted to open up this space. Uh, this space was um, um, separated by a sliding door, like two rooms. We took the sliding door out and uh, we insulated the walls. There was no insulation. And uh, we're going to use this as one large room. Uh, this open space we haven't decided yet, but most likely uh, we'll just keep it uh, open. If we decide we might want to use pocket doors in three sections here. So we, if we want to isolate this room, we can use the pocket doors. Uh, here, there was a, a large bathroom with a tub. We took the tub out because we wanted to uh, utilize this corner. There, there will be a new bathroom here and the, a shower stall in the former linen closet of that bathroom. So we have let's like about 30 square feet of more space here as a result of this uh, renovation. So that's uh, the house. Now here, attached to this house, are little uh, rooms which were haphazardly built by the former neighbor over time. As you can see, it doesn't make very much sense but uh, from here, there was a, there's an elevator that uh, lift that he used most likely for his uh, um, wife who was handicapped. They parked the car in the uh, garage and then he would take her by wheelchair to the, the lift and then uh, uh, lower her down so that she can make it into the, uh, uh, into the house. But we, we, we intend to totally tear all this down and build one big room on the level of that floor that you see in front of the garage uh, up to this up to this section. So it'll be a big usable room, uh, and uh, underneath we'll have a crawl space where we can keep coolers and other things that we use uh, on uh, on occasion. Uh, if, if you follow me, we'll go upstairs towards the garage. So the future room will be on this level, and there you see the garage. The garage is very nice. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it right now as a private parking place, but there's plenty of shelving place here. We're going to take some of the shelving out and get take all of our freezers that we have in different parts of the uh, church house at the present time. and. Uh, line them up here against that wall so it'll be very easily accessible for our, for our sisterhood or our brotherhood or other people who use uh, the the freezers it will be all in one space and of course here we have uh, oh, we'll keep our tools and uh, uh, we're going to also insulate the um, the ceiling to keep the room cool in the summer cooler in the summer and of course warmer in the winter uh, here uh, we have a little yard. Uh, this was a hill before, and slowly but surely, but we, we filled it in with, with uh, uh, dirt. We built a little wall there, um, and <laughs> the shed belonged to the former owner, and we're going to keep that. We're going to 
uh, turn this into a playground for the children so they can expend their en energy after church here under adult supervision instead of running around the church and making a lot of noise. And of course the shed will, will keep to keep uh, playground equipment uh, in storage during, during the winter time. We're trying to paint it to match the other shed that we have uh, built years ago. So there you have it. This is a beautiful view of the church from here. A view that most people are probably never able to avail themselves of, but uh, the reason we made this video is to show you, because I can't uh, bring everyone here individually and, and show, give you a private tour of, of what we're doing, but uh, uh, we've uh, bought this house uh, for $650,000. Uh, we've spent almost 20000 on what you've seen on the renovation. The renovation is going to probably cost us about 200000 to make it really usable. So what I'm asking you, dear brothers and sisters, is uh, please consider donating to this very, very important project. This is being done for you. Uh, this is being done for your children so that uh, we could have... Uh, a nice usable school, a place for our youth to gather, a place where we can have uh, meetings of the sisterhood, brotherhood, other church organizations, the scouts, uh, because oftentimes even with the expanded uh, rooms in our church house, sometimes we have three or four different events going on at the same time. And uh, this house, this new space, will uh, give us the opportunity to have even more events uh, go on at the same time without us getting into each other's way. So please uh, consider donating. The idea was that if we had uh, 400 people donate a thousand dollars to this project, to the purchase of this house, to do its renovation, we would be able to collect at least $400,000, which would cover more than cover the costs of uh, this house and uh, later uh, help us perhaps rebuild this uh, this large space here. And the, if you can see it, I want to step on the grass that's going to be growing here, but uh, the house next door will also be going on sale soon. Uh, it's run down. But we've been already approached by the owner. Um, of course, uh, we can't afford it. But uh, if we were to be able to put down a down payment and buy it and maybe make some cosmetic changes, we could rent it. Um, and the rented house would pay for itself. Uh, but that's something to think about in the future. Right now, we're focusing on this newly acquired property and uh, I hope that uh, by the end of summer when all is said and done we will be able to finally use this house and uh, use it well. So thank you for your attention, thank you for taking the time to uh, put up with this rambling uh, monologue of mine and God bless you all. Thank you.